Hi, Stuart. I'm a um, fourth year medical student. Can I take your name, please? Yes, Kieran. Um, how old are you, Kieran? 25. 25. And can I take your date of birth, please? Yes, 26 September 1985. Okay. What I've been asked to do today, Kieran, is um, to do an examination of your upper limb. What this involved me doing is having a look at your arms, testing for tone, power, and sensation. Okay. Um, is that okay with you? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. What I'll need you to do, um, if you don't mind, is to pop your top off. Mm -hmm. You just need to expose down to your child. Yes, that's okay. Fine. On general inspection from the end of the bed, the patient looks comfortable and doesn't look to be in any distress, looks generally well. Looking around the bed, there's no sign of any wheelchair, walking stick or any other sign of chronic neurological deficit. There's no sign of any muscle wasting, any abnormal tremor or fasciculations in the patient. Okay, so the first thing I'd like to do is just test the tone of your arms. What this will involve me doing is just putting your arm through a range of different movements. Is that okay with you? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, before I start, do you need pain at all? No, fine. Okay. If you can just relax your arm for me. Okay, okay that's fine. If you just relax, I just want to do the same with this arm. Okay, thank you. Um, tone appeared to be normal, there was no sign of any cogreal rigidity. Next thing that I'd like to test is power of both of your arms. Mm -hmm. What this will involve is me asking you to put your arms in certain positions and kind of resisting my movements. Is that okay with you? Yeah, that's fine. Are you still comfortable and not in any pain? Yeah, fine. Okay. To start with, you can put your arms out like that for me. Okay. If you can keep them there, don't let me push them down. And keep them there, don't let me push them up. That's great, thank you. If you can put your arms out in front of you like that. Okay and keep them there, don't let me move them, and keep them there, don't let me move them. Okay, fantastic, thank you. If you can put your arms out in front of you, if you can cock your wrist back for me, okay? If you can try and keep your fist in that position, okay, the same on that side, okay? And if you can cock your wrist downward, that would be great as well. Exactly the same as before, if you can keep it still and don't let me move it, and keep it still, don't let me move it. Okay, fantastic. You can put your arms out in front of you, please. I'm just going to test um, the power on your fingers, so if you can keep your fingers where they are, don't let me move them, and the same from this direction, and exactly the same on this left arm as well. Okay, thank you. Um, next thing I need you to do is if you can just keep your arms where they are, and if you can spread your fingers out, okay, and if you can stop me from pushing your fingers together, if that's okay. Okay. Next thing I need you to do is keep your hands in the same position, but if you try and grip the piece of paper for me, and try and stop you from pulling the piece of paper out. Okay, that's great, thank you. You can turn your arms over for me. Okay, if you can put your fingers in that position. Okay, so I need you to keep your thumb there, and don't let me push it down. And the same if you keep there and don't let me push it towards the ceiling. Okay, just to complete this part, if you can just make a pincer with both of your first fingers and your thumb for me. Okay, if you keep them there and try not to let me pull through the pincer. And the same on this side. Okay, and finally, if you can make a fist and grip my two fingers as hard as you can. Okay, that's that part of the exam finished. Thank you. If you just relax. There was normal grade 5 out of 5 power bilaterally through all movements of the upper limbs. Okay, the next part of the examination involves me testing the reflexes in both of your arms. Is that okay with you? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I'm first going to test the supinator reflex. Okay, next I'm going to test the biceps reflex. Okay, next I'm going to test the triceps reflex. I need you to relax as much as possible, please. All three reflexes in both upper limbs were present and normal. Next thing I'd like to do is just test sensation in both of your arms. What I'll need you to do is to close your eyes for me and let me know when you can feel me touch certain parts of your arm. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Does it feel the same both sides? Yeah. 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 Does it 
it feel the same there? Yeah. It's the same there as well. Yeah. 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 Okay, thank you for that. The next thing I'd like to do is do the same thing again but using something called a neuro tip. Okay. Um, and basically this is used to test whether you can feel sharp or blunt sensation. Okay. The sharp tip's not strong enough to pierce your skin. And what I'd like you to do is keep your eyes closed again and when I touch you and certain parts of your arm, if you can let me know whether it's sharp or blunt. Yeah. Is that okay with you? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Just to start with, just on your sternum here, and just let you know this is the blunt part. And that's the sharp part. Okay. Can you feel the difference there between the two? Yeah. The next thing that I'd like to test is whether you can feel vibration. This limb will be using a tuning fork and what I'm going to do is place it at the bottom of your thumb on either hand. Um, what I'd like you to do is let me know when you can feel it vibrate and when you feel it stop. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Um, I'll give you a demonstration first, just on your sternum. Okay. Can you feel that vibrate? Yeah. And can you feel that stop? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can feel that. Stop. Yeah, I can feel that. Stop. Okay, the next thing I'd like to do is just test your sense of proprioception. What this will involve me doing is just holding on to one of your fingers and moving it up towards you, down towards the floor, or leaving it the same. So what I need you to do is to close your eyes, okay? I'll give you an example of what it feels like. So you can just close your eyes for me. Yeah. Okay, this is up, this is down, that's me leaving it the same. Okay. Up. Down. Middle. Up. Okay, and your other hand please. Up. Down. Middle. Okay, I'd now like to assess your coordination. To start with, if you can put your hands out in front of you please. And if you can close your eyes. You can turn your arms over for me. Just open your eyes again. What I'd like you to do next is to um, touch the tip of your first finger against your nose and bring it towards my finger, backwards and forwards. Okay, thank you. And the same with the tip of your finger on your left hand. Okay, thank you. Um, next thing I'd like you to do is to turn the palm of your left hand upwards and with your right hand Move it backwards and forwards in the palm as fast as you can. That's great, thank you. And if you can do the same but the opposite way around. That's great, thank you. If you just relax. Coordination was normal. Okay, thank you very much. That's the end of the examination. Would you just like to pop your t-shirt back on for me, please? Okay, to summarise, on inspection, there was no gross sign of any neurological deficit. There was normal tone and power. There was normal sensation across all modalities. And there was normal coordination. In summary, this was a normal neurological exam. To complete this examination, ideally, I'd like to do a full neurovascular examination of the upper limb and potentially a full cranial nerve or full neurological exam.